A torpedo bomber is a military aircraft designed primarily to attack ships with aerial torpedoes. Torpedo bombers came into existence just before the First World War almost as soon as aircraft were built that were capable of carrying the weight of a torpedo, and remained an important aircraft type until they were rendered obsolete by anti-ship missiles. They were an important element in many famous Second World War battles, notably the British attack at Taranto, the sinking of the German battleship Bismarck, and the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Torpedo bombers first appeared immediately prior to the First World War. Generally, they carried torpedoes specifically designed for air launch, which were smaller and lighter than those used by submarines and surface warships. Nonetheless, as an airborne torpedo could weigh as much as 2,000 pounds, 910 kilograms, more than twice the bomb load of contemporary single-engine bombers, the aircraft carrying it usually needed to be specially designed for the purpose. Many early torpedo bombers were float planes, such as the short 184, the first aircraft to sink a ship with a torpedo, and the undercarriage had to be redesigned so that the torpedo could be dropped from the aircraft's centerline. While many torpedo bombers were single-engine aircraft, some multi-engine aircraft have also been used as torpedo bombers, with the Mitsubishi Gemnell and Mitsubishi G4M Betty being used in the sinking of HMS Prince of Wales and Repulse. Other twin-engine or three-engine aircraft designed or used as torpedo bombers include the Mitsubishi Ki-67, the Savoy Marchetti SM.79 Sparviero, the Cansi.1007, the Bristol Beaufort and Bristol Bowfighter, Turbo, the Junkers Ju-88, the Heinkel He-111, the B-25 Mitchell and many others. Some post-war jet aircraft, such as the Ilyushin Il-28 T, were adapted as torpedo bombers in the late 1940s and 1950s. The last known torpedo bomber attack was made by U.S. Navy Sky Raiders against the Shin Dam during the Korean War. The North Korean Air Force finally retired the world's last operational torpedo bombers in the 1980s. In a parallel development, many maritime strike aircraft and helicopters have been capable of launching guided torpedoes, however, they are not generally referred to as torpedo bombers because of their vastly greater detection and tracking capabilities, although they remain just as capable of making attacks on surface ships as against submarines.